one great dining experience. Peppers. Mouth-watering fruit. Fine dressings, apples, meats. This place looks so familiar. Everyone in Newcastle has to know about it. Yes, it reminds you of when you were growing up. Right in downtown Newcastle. Look at those fine lunch meats and ethnic foods. Yes, it's Joseph's. Hello and welcome to another exciting edition of Cook in the Castle. You know, as I was thinking about coffee, I was going cobble, Italian, Claudie, Italian, Johnny, Italian. Anthony Italian. And then I thought, well, you know, to show that we're equally balanced here, we got a token. It's Abe. Now, Abe starts his camel on his magic carpet ride, comes in every morning, gets his coffee, and I thought, meh. You know, he keeps telling Johnny, this food is really good. Well, it's time to do something for our man, Abe. Johnny's going, but I don't like peppers. Hey, be quiet. You're going to have something absolutely spectacular. Doc's going, I can't wait. We'll watch this. Yeah, chicken over rice. Now, we're going to make our chicken in a special marinade. You can grill it. You can put it in the oven. We're going to use the oven. And then we're going to put it over rice with some mushrooms. And, and yeah, we're making lamb sauce with some peppers and garlic. Just giving it that flavor. You're going to think this is out of sight. Abe's going, I can't wait for lunch. Johnny's going, but I don't like peppers. And Doc's going, oh, this stuff is always good, Johnny. So now, before we have, you know, one of those whistleblowers telling Johnny, he actually ate a pepper. We're going to do this right now on a brand new cook in a castle. And guess what? We'll be right back after we hear from these great sponsors. Arlington Market, located at 726 Arlington Avenue, has all the great food you remember. Yes, their canned goods are fantastic and feature that old world taste. And meat, cheeses, produce, lunch meats, fresh cut meats, groceries, and so much more. It's Arlington Market. It'll make your table look spectacular. 450, Newcastle's community television station. This program was provided through funding from Cedars Restaurant in Newcastle, Pennsylvania. A special thanks to Cedars, featuring Middle Eastern, Italian, and American cuisine. Well, we're going to do our chicken over rice to get um, our uh, pepper sauce. We've got sweet peppers there and some hot. You can use what you want. Okay, we've got two uh, 
Marinate our chicken in a little Tupperware container, some onions, garlic powder, oregano, and uh, also mushrooms and rice. And uh, we're going to start putting this together. Now we mixed our brown sugar. There's our olive oil, salt, pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, paprika. And we're going to add our chicken and shake it and mix it thoroughly and let it marinate for a few hours. You can let it marinate for overnight, whatever suits you. And then uh, we'll check in there. Uh, we added it right in. We're going to have more chicken. But I <clears throat> just wanted you to see a little picture and then we'll shake it and get it all nice and coated. Now I want you to see our chickens all in there marinating. We're going to put it in a plastic bag so that the oil doesn't drip all over and make a mess. And uh, we'll let that marinate. Funny, but when simple elegance in a majestic setting yes right here in downtown Newcastle minutes away from shopping seconds from a gas station and let's not forget pastries a restaurant and oh yes the schools the majestic for that majestic lifestyle right in the greatest castle Newcastle come by and take a look I remember wearing straight uh, leg we have some peppers our onion and our garlic we're gonna put these in our container and make a little marinade and this will go nice with our chicken over rice Now you can see we gave a chop to our peppers, red, green, orange, and then the, the green is the hot, but everything else is sweet, and our onions are in there. Now it's time to add our garlic. Now there we go. You can see our garlic and our onions, our peppers. We're going to add a little salt to this so that it flavors in a little, little bit of pepper the garlic's already in there so we won't do garlic powder and now our oil and let it marinate and uh, it'll be great with our chicken Ooh, I was Tuscany Square Restaurant 3470 Wilmington Road, where old world charm meets today's modern conveniences. You'll enjoy their spacious, comfortable seating, their fresh ingredients that go into making every dish, whether it's pizza or that just right entree. Tuscany Square Restaurant, they're here to serve you. Call 724-654-3065. Today's programming is brought to you by NCTV 45 and NC Radio 450, Newcastle's community television station. There you go. We put our oil in and we'll let that sit and soak in and we'll be Loving this once we get our chicken done. Now we're going to make, my, like, my daughter loves the garlic sauce, and I'm going to make like a little garlic paste. Have this little thing to make it mushy, and uh, we'll use a little olive oil and uh, some garlic, and I'll show you when we're done. Now you can see our garlic's finely chopped. We're going to use this little, like a pistol and mortar to make it pasty and then we'll add a little oil to make it fluid. Now after a few rounds with the pistol, like a pistol and mortar, 
Here we've got our garlic paste and we used a little olive oil to make a little pasty. It'll thicken up and it'll be great with our chicken. Now we're going to spray with some non-stick uh, material. You, well, you know, they have it in olive oil. They have it for grills. We'll spray that and uh, now we'll place our chicken in. Now there's our marinated chicken. We're going to place it into our baking dish and uh, just in nice strips and then we'll be ready to rock and roll in a hot oven at 350 is where we'll go. Now there's our chicken sitting comfortably in our baking dish after it's been marinated. We're going to pop this into the oven at 350 and uh, then towards the end we'll broil it to make sure it's nice and crisp. Now uh, we melted some butter with our mushrooms. And, you know, I don't like to reinvent the wheel. We're going to use this 90 second rice and mix it with our mushrooms for our kind of like our rice pea left. And as you can see, after we let it bake, we boiled it just a little bit. And we're going to take that up and plate it up with our rice. And our ah, if you only had smell o vision. And there you have it, our chicken over rice, with of course Augustine Syrian bread, and um, yes, our pepper sauce, our garlic sauce, and we'll take a look at the chicken. Notice the marriage between the seasoning and the chicken that allows it to have that special crunchy flavor. Wow, the My initial reaction is, honey, give me love, not a facsimile, oh. Special thanks to Little Johnny's 2 downtown, who provided funding for this program. At our law firm, we see you. Come see us at lgkg.com. Wow. Now, wasn't that spectacular? <laughs> yes. That chicken. Oh, if you had smell of vision so sweet and moist and succulent. On top of that rice with Syrian bread and yeah, that nice pepper sauce. Put right there you can't beat it and they're gonna go where did she come up with this one but you and I both know you watched cook in a castle and you will dazzle them every time and it's like I said you're gonna love it until next time bon appetit and uh, don't tell the whistle blow. We can sing in the glow of a star that I know.